ourselves a battle of the big man here, Mondo. This is going to be very interesting, Mike. Oh, yeah. Was Brody King, one of the standout graduates of the Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy in Bell Gardens, not to mention the All Pro Wrestling Young Lions Cup winner late last year. He narrowly beat me in that cup. You were in that? I'm a young lion. Uh, it was meant for rookies. At least people within their first couple of years in the business. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it, Mondo. Whoa. Oh man! Oh, this ain't cool! What's he doing out here? That is scary as shit! Whoa. Oh boy. Jekyll's suggesting. Well, Jekyll's a former three time All Pro Wrestling Universal Heavyweight Champion. We just kind of actually just come off a nearly a year long uh, hiatus after a uh, ACL tear. I didn't think Jekyll's could get hurt. I didn't think so either. But I didn't think it was human. But then again, those little monsters and uh, Puppet Master did get hurt as well, but they were then, re <laughs> they were then really rebuilt. Hey, he's coming over here. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> well, Jekyll's staring down one of the kids in the back row. Well, yes, Jekyll's may have gotten hurt, but he was rebuilt. And he's back with a vengeance. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Santa Claus ain't real, kid, but Jekyll's is. <laughs> that kid's gonna be haunted for the rest of his childhood for that. That boy just got ruined. <laughs> Good luck sleeping tonight, kid. <laughs> He's, he's not just staring down the kids, he's staring down the ladies, too. I didn't know he had it like that. Oh, boy, Jekyll's got some game, let me tell you. Well, I've tried that. I've tried sitting in a bar and staring at a woman for half the night. It doesn't freaking work. <laughs> then he got paperwork, didn't you? Well, she uh, did call the security. I've just been informed that the child that Jekyll's staring at is crying now. I think you were right. I think that child, that poor kid is ruined now. We need to we need to give that kid a free ticket to the next show. Give us some DVDs featuring Jekyll. Her, her, her parents are gonna sue us for that. Oh man, these kids got it good. They got Jessica and Melissa all over them. Man, all I gotta do is cry and I get that kind of attention. Singles competition, Brody versus Jekylls. One Man. fall to the finish. <laughs> Referee Jeremy Marcus said to officiate this contest. Poor bastard. Yeah, there's certain people who are afraid of Brody King. I would not want to run into Brody King in a, anywhere, to tell you the truth. Most people say a dark alley, but in broad daylight, he's still frightening. Mike, I can't see. Yeah, All right, now, here we go. Je wow, these are some big white boys. I guess today is white boy day, Mike. Now, Mike, you know uh, a regular... Whoa. thing that Jekylls does. I wonder if he can get Brody King to sit on his lap. Um, he might very well re-tear his ACL, but it would that matter. Oh! Oh, this ought to be a great power match here. I wonder if Brody King has a tattoo of Jekylls on him somewhere. Um, that's probably a spot that we can't show on camera, I would assume. How do you know? I'm only making a vague guess, but judging by the part of his body that we cannot see. This guy's like a human coloring book. He has freaking tattoos everywhere. I think the only place he hasn't covered is his face. Look, look at those tights. Some cheetah is hurting somewhere. It reminds me of that movie Road Trip. <laughs> I know Steve Rosano was probably watching this. It was a little OTU kid. <laughs> Steve Rosano? Yeah. 
You don't remember him? Oh, I, I love him. Booyah! Steve Booyah! I love him, Steve Rosano. If any fans don't know, he was a great talent from Extreme Pro Wrestling. Check it out. If you don't know who Steve Rosano is, just quit the business. <laughs> well, here we got ourselves a uh, test of strength here. Let's see who's going to blink first. It'll be interesting since neither have really much muscle. Hell yeah. Well, the men nearly equal size. Both they are. Wow! Very nice, nice take to down. King, but they both held on to the knuckles. Both men definitely clearing that six foot two. Definitely clearing that six foot two, six foot three mark. And both men back up to their feet. Kicks off the hand. Oh! Nice elbow by Jekylls. Brody returns it. You know, if. Oh, oh wow! Oh, wow! I've never really heard him talk! Yeah, and the one thing that we do hear him say is something we probably can't repeat. Oh! Ooh. Nice kick on no. the knee to the midsection. Oh, two. man! Whoa! Oh. Holy shit, Mike! Woo. I don't think that Jekyll's expected that. Brody King is for the kids! <laughs> you know, if there's ever a reboot of American History X, these two might want to try out for it. <laughs> oh. Just saying. And now the fight is spilled to the outside of the ring. Because it is. Because wrestling, Mike. <laughs> well, contrary to the event that I saw last night, at least at this show, you can see the action. Oh, no! Oh! And those that's poor, a full strike. Those poor chairs. Jungle's getting checked on by referee Jeremy Marcus. Ooh. I don't think Jekylls is going to give up. Ever. Well, Brody King might try might try to change that. Well, we'll see what he can do. He rolls Jekylls back into the ring. Uh, Brody, don't turn your back on Jekylls, man! Whoa! Whoa! Suicide dive to the outside wipes out Brody. That's a big man to be doing a dive like that, Mike. I know. Damn near six foot three, six foot four missile just flying out of the ring at you. Now you know about Jekyll's injury and his time off, but do you think Brody King knows and will he use that to, as a, to his advantage? Well, if he did his homework, he will know. But I'm Brody sure that King I'm doesn't look like the type that ever did his homework. Uh, probably not. He was probably the guy that skipped school. And probably, oh! And probably beat up other kids in the playground. That pole is hurting. Oof. Kicked to the face by, uh, by Big Jekyll's. Big boot with those chic-like boots that Jekyll's wears. It's like the kind of boots you could probably fish hook someone with. I've always wanted to see someone try that. Nice forearm. Punch to the mix section. Make it two. All these men just slugging out. Fans running for their life. Look at, look at that couple right there. They're fearing for their lives. <laughs> this is like watching Kong Skull Island. Oh. And Jekyll's ah. fakes out the crowd. I see he hasn't lost his humor. <laughs> That's some dark humor there. Well, Jekyll's in full control and scrapes the boot across the forehead. Brody King trying to recount his thoughts. Hoping to walk out of here with the W against Jekyll's the Jester in a punch. Jekyll's returns. Oh. Brody. Jekyll's. Yeah, that actually staggered Brody King. Nice clubbing shot right between the shoulder blade. Excuse me, the back of the head. I'm waiting to see any kind of ring rust from Jekyll's being, you know, that long layoff, but I'm not really seeing it. Well, one of his uh, first matches back was at oh. a Vendetta Pro Wrestling event, which I was actually uh, lucky enough to see, and he put on a great show thing there. It shocked the hell out of the fans when he made, when he made his return. It shocks the fans when he just shows up. Oh, oh now, now he threw him. You know, we're going to have to pay for those chairs, Jekyll's. Those chairs cost a lot more these days. Have you noticed? Uh, yeah, I've noticed that the price has steadily gone up. <laughs> Man, you can blame Trump for that. <laughs> and now Jekyll's just toying around with King. And a kick to the cheek. Fans stunned. They're basically watching a street fight here. So this is like Kong and Godzilla duking it out right in front of your face. Well, there has been a lot of rumor about that film. It's bound, oh. bound, bound to happen eventually, but we're getting a preview, I guess. Big kick to the face. The down goes Brody King. They're going to take it out to the streets of Southgate, oh. which are not pleasant. Oh, I don't know. Not much parking. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to sell him some merch. 
Well, let's see. Uh, I don't know if our wandering camera is catching that, but yes, that is the Razor Pops t-shirt along with the Tyler Bateman t-shirt. That is for sale. I am now at the show or online. <laughs> now both men back inside the ring. Kick to the yes, chin. Yes. And now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's going oh. to see. He's having trouble keeping him up. That's a disturbing maneuver into a back suplex. His knee almost gave out on that one, but he maintained his uh, his footing. Such a uh, sick looking man. He has an interesting take on uh, medieval renaissance and uh, pecking order. Ugh. Well, he does hopefully help from Carney, though. I mean, it, wrestling does have some real deep roots in the uh, the Carney lands of the carnival, carnival grounds of the world, namely in Europe. Now off the ropes and cartwheel. Oh, wow. Nice cartwheel by Jekylls. Kick to the face. And oh, nice. on the back suplex. suplex. Hey, twinsies. <laughs> Drink, show me a Coke. Of course he can do a cartwheel. He's from the carnival. He's a jester. Yeah, but can he do backflips? I've always wanted to see him do a backflip. What? Oh, no, he hears voices. What's Jekylls doing? Jekylls not pounding on the mat. He hears voices. Oh, okay. That's what it's supposed to be. That's exactly what this is. Well, Brody is slowly making his way back up to his feet. He needs to turn around. He might not like the view. Oh! And a cutter by Brody King. Brody King out of nowhere. That was unexpected. One of the most popular maneuvers on the independent scene, the cutter, lays out Jekyll's the jester. As well as the internet. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're going to confuse Jeremy the doing that. Ten. Why the hell are their fans chanting 10? <laughs> you must not follow the product, Mike. Um, yeah, I'm all for actually counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not 10, 10, 10, 10, It's 10. the new math in Trump's America, Mike. Well, this isn't the late 90s. Not every, uh, not every phone call can be started with a 10, 10, whatever number. We speak in hieroglyphics now. Yes, I am. Also known as emojis. <laughs> and off for the ropes, excuse me. Off the ropes. Ooh, big That's physical. Oh, my God. It oh. oh. dumps Jekylls right on his head. But Jekylls is still up. Here comes a bit. Look at that. Oh. Are, what a are, you, are you fucking kidding me? Oh. That's some of those teachings from uh, Joey Chaos and Robbie Phoenix. And now Brody King is really feeling it. Off of the ropes. And now Brody. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He wiped out Je he wiped out Jekylls, and I think he may have very well dead to the floor. Wow. I felt that rumble all the way over here. I guess empty pool diving is a thing today. Oh, shit, Mike. Well, thankfully, he's still conscious, but oh, my goodness. Wow, he's going to hear about that in the back. <laughs> oh, man. I think it just kind of grazed uh, Jekylls on that one, but... That was very Joey Ryan of Jekylls. <laughs> And if he ever hears this, you know. <laughs> now down for the pin. Two, no. Well, okay. at least Brody's okay. Well, he's definitely fine. I mean, he... we know Jekyll's is because he, you know, didn't hit him. <laughs> well, we did see him slightly hit. We don't know if he landed on him, but yeah, judging from that thud. Him. <laughs> he might have caught a fingernail on that one, Mike. Ooh, Ooh. Nice forearm. Down oh, nice! Ooh, nice cutthroat neck breaker. I ain't seen that in a fortnight. Centon splash. Lateral press. And oh, ooh. if he would have hooked the leg better, oh, he might have had it. Oh. All up in Jeremy's grill. Don't strike the ref, Jekylls. What a monstrous fight we're seeing here, Mondo. I mean, who do you think? Who do you think is going to come out on this? All these men have put out so much. Oh, close line in the corner. Oh, well, two, if three. Brody did that for ten minutes, he'll come on top. <laughs> That's something that'll crack your collarbone. Into the corner once again. Belly to belly wow. suplex. Excellent power, even at this late stage of the game, Mike. Brody's really showing me something here. That's great endurance, man. 
The fans Brody are calling the moves like Brody King. Brody King's not a jukebox. You can't tell him what to do. <laughs> well, somebody was calling for a brain buster, but uh, judging by how tall these men are, I doubt that they'll be able to do such a thing. The ceiling's way too low. Juggles brought back up to his oh. feet. And look at his chest. Wow, I just noticed that too. Where did that happen, Mike? Well, from all those clubbing shots and those chops from Brody King. Uh -oh. His chest is going to be bruised up tomorrow morning. You know, you should Oh, wow, he dropped Brody oh, King. Oh, that might be it. And that he might fell be on it. Him. One, two. Whoa. No. He just collapsed on top of Brody King and still couldn't get the pin. Great presence of mind by Jekylls. Not presence of mind, he collapsed on him, Mike. <laughs> Well, at least he knew where to fall. They just fell in a heap together. It's almost like Shawn Michaels. He would hit the sweet chin music and then collapse on top of his opponent. Don't say that too loud. What? Why? Just, I'll explain later. Okay, fine. Right by Shawn Michaels, super fan number one. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Jekyll's coming back from the dead. And he's laughing at him. Brody. Oh, my goodness. Jekyll's back up on his feet. He laughs in the face of violence as Brody. My goodness. He caught his foot, swinging him around. Big boot to the chops. And Brody turned around and catches the second big boot. And a roaring elbow gets blocked. Now Brody, fireman's carry. Oh! Oh! The driver. One, two, and three. It's over. <laughs> Good fight. Listen to these fans. Climbing for the incredible Brody King. What a huge, huge win over Jekyll's Adjuster. <laughs>